In this lesson, we will evaluate a definite integral using the method of u-substitution. Analyzing the integrand function, the denominator is a degree two polynomial and the numerator is a degree one polynomial. Because the derivative of a degree two polynomial is a degree one polynomial, we will let the denominator of x squared plus eight x plus 12 be equal to u so that differential u will involve a degree one polynomial which should match the numerator. So we will let u equal x squared plus eight x plus 12 and therefore differential u is equal to the derivative of x squared plus eight x plus 12 times dx, which gives us the quantity two x plus eight times dx. And now going back to the integral, we can substitute u for the denominator and we're left with the quantity x plus four times dx and we have du equals the quantity two x plus eight times dx. To make the right side of the equation match the quantity x plus four times dx, we will now factor two from the quantity two x plus eight. This gives us du equals two times the quantity x plus four times dx, and next we'll divide both sides by two, which gives us one half du equals the quantity x plus four times dx, which is good news. We can now substitute one half du for the quantity x plus four dx. Before we write the integral in terms of u though, we need to remember that limits integration from one to four are x values, not u values. So for right now, we will leave the limits of integration off. Again, the quantity x plus four times dx is equal to one half du. We will factor out the one half and then we have du. And now the integrand function is just one divided by u since u is equal to x squared plus eight x plus 12. Now from here we have a choice. We can quickly find the antiderivative with respect to x and then use the limits of integration from one to four or if we want to leave the integral with respect to u, we do need to find the limits of integration for u. For the next step, let's find the new limits of integration for u. Well, when x is equal to one, u is equal to the square of one plus eight times one plus 12, which is 21. 21 is the lower limit of integration for u. And when x is equal to four, u is equal to the square of four plus eight times four plus 12. 16 plus 32 plus 12 is equal to 60. 60 is the upper limit of integration for u. And now let's go ahead and evaluate the integral. The antiderivative is one half times the integral of one divided by u du is equal to natural log absolute value of u plus c. We'll leave off the plus c when evaluating definite integrals, which gives us one half times natural log absolute value of u. Let's go ahead and factor out the one half. We can actually drop the absolute value since 60 and 21 are both positive. but it's not wrong to leave the absolute value. And now we need to determine one half times the difference of big F of 60 and big F of 21, which gives us one half times the quantity natural log 60 minus natural log 21. Using the property of logarithms, we can combine these two logs. This is equal to one half times natural log of 60 divided by 21, which to four decimal places, is approximately 0 0.5249. Before we go, let's take a look at the graph of the integrand function over the closed interval from one to four. If we shade the region bounded by the function on the x-axis, we have this green shaded region here. Notice how this area is above the x-axis, which indicates the exact area is equal to the value of the def integral, which we now know is equal to one half times natural log of 60 divided by 21, or approximately 0 0.5249. I hope you found this helpful.